five, four, three, two, uno. Hey everybody, 182. What's going on on YouTube? The best channel on earth. Yeah, and if you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, you can listen to us on Spotify or SoundCloud. If you're listening to us on Spotify or SoundCloud, you can watch us on YouTube or Facebook. Super Bowl weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Super Bowl. Yeah, what number Super Bowl? Do you know the number? Yeah, L one no five. Uh, okay, so it's thirty four. No, forty four. No, fifty four. No, sixty four. No, that's too high now. Fifty. What number Super Bowl are we at? Fifty. Double right with this. Yeah. Four. <laughs> no. Okay, what did you say? You're close. 55? Yeah. This is Super Bowl 55. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I have it. Because it's three numbers. It's not two numbers. It's two, LV. Super Bowl 55. That's the subject. What is it? This? Super Bowl 55. That's four. That's a five, you dumbass. Look. What is before five? Super Bowl 55. Super Bowl 55. Where? Where is that? Show right me. there. Super Bowl 55. Show me this in the Greek. LV 55. That's how you spell it in, in so Roman, Roman numerals. Oh, not Greek. okay. I see now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yes. Yes. You're right. Super Bowl 55. Yeah, Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs. Against the Tampa Bay. Tampa Bucca Bay. Buccaneers. Buccaneers. So let's do some picks. Who's winning Super Bowl this year? So I'm thinking Tom Brady and Mahoney. Yeah, they're against on two each other. Yeah. Two so teams. what are you thinking? What's going to happen? Yeah, I asked you that. Okay, you, t you tell me who's going to win the Super Bowl? No, I asked you who is going to win the Super Bowl. That's I'm asking I'm your pick. Yeah, that's what you just said. Yeah, just said. And, and then you just repeated the same question back no, to no, me. No, no, I know. With no I, answer. I, I, okay, so I'm thinking now. <laughs> Tom Brady. Okay. Which means... Which is Buccaneers. Buccaneers, yeah. I'm going to go with Kansas City. It's going to win two years in a row. That'll oh, be the yeah, second yeah. Super so Bowl. So what, $100? No. What do you mean no? Not a hundred dollars. Oh, two hundred. Okay. No. Three hundred. No, we're gonna we'll do twenty dollars a bet. Okay, twenty dollars. And we'll have multiple bets. Oh, okay. Yeah. So who's gonna get the first touchdown? Is it gonna be no touchdown? Or it's gonna be kick. First kick, probably. No, that's not the question I asked you. I know, but Who's I'm gonna thinking get the... they, they were so good, they're not going to make it both to touchdown. They're going to have a first kicks. But yeah. okay, who's going to make touchdown? It's going to be Gronkowski and, of course, going to be Tom Brady. For first touchdown? Yeah. Okay, I, 20 think, I think I agree with you on that one. Okay, so no money. So no money on that one. Okay. How many people you think is going to be in attendance? No idea. Oh, no. oh, Jesus. It's a football stadium. Yeah. So, where are you going? I have to drag the baby to the room. Okay. <laughs> he's putting the dog away. Because he's getting too distracted. He's not paying attention. But, because of uh, COVID-19... There's a limited audience. Yes, so no idea what state you can hold it and blah, 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 blah. Well, well this is the Super Bowl. They're playing in Tampa Bay. Okay, I have no idea how big is that. In. Hey, Google. How big is that in Tampa Bay? Here's what I found. You can read out loud, you know. Tampa Bay hosting costs are 
percent less expensive. This uh, there's nothing here. Yeah. All right. So, how many people you think will be in the audience 10, for a Super Bowl? That's a good guess. That's normal number for like big stadium. I think they're gonna have twenty thousand. That's gonna be my say. It's gonna be twenty thousand people live watching Super Bowl. Okay, so we better mark what we're betting. So, well, you have a piece of paper. Yes, we do. Okay. So let's write this down. And you grab the smallest piece of paper. It's okay. We don't want to fucking write the fucking big fonts. <laughs> Here. Okay. Here we go. So, so far. So far, Super Bowl gonna win. Super Bowl. I'm gonna put a G, Grant, and then Dumb. Okay. <laughs> dumb side, Grant dumb, side. Dumb, dumb. Yeah. Grant side. There we go. I'm gonna put. I put Kansas City to win. Okay. What the fuck was that? 10 4. <laughs> was that like Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Money work. Tam. Win. $20. Every bet's twenty dollars. Okay, you said attendance is gonna be ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand people. I say. Oh, I wrote on the wrong side. I said twenty thousand. Dyslexic. I fixed it. You. <laughs> ten thousand people. Yeah. Okay, that's second bet. Second bet is uh, we was talking about. So I'm. You say ten thousand people. I say twenty thousand people. I say Kansas City's gonna win. You say Tampa Bay's gonna win. Yeah. So that's two. Yeah. First touchdown. First touchdown. We both agreed on that. Okay. Um, it's first probably... kick now. Whatever. First kick. Doesn't no. matter who. But first kick through the game. Uh, Kansas I... City is gonna kick first. Okay. Temp uh, Tampa Bay. But what do you mean by kick first? Like to start the game? Like no, no, no. We score the point. Like coin flip. No, score the point. Like a three point? Three points or one point, whatever. Who kicking first? No, three points. Yeah, but a football game starts with a kick. No, I'm talking scoring points, three points. Okay, I say Kansas City then. I said uh, Tampa Bay. Kick, Tampa, kick. Yeah, $20. Yeah, yeah, everyone's $20. Okay. Uh, and then the weekend is doing the halftime show. So, but he's gonna be somewhere else on the parking lot. No, he'll be in the stadium for sure playing. Who do you think is gonna be a random guest? No, no, no idea that might show up. Dua Lipa. No, you never know. Like last year, what was it? It was like, uh, yeah, exactly. Who was it? It was, I think it was Maroon 5, and then they randomly had Travis Scott or some bullshit. Like, yes, you're true. Yeah. Maroon 5, big thing, without t-shirt. Everybody was laughing. Yeah, because and then they up. had... And Travis was like, for fucking five seconds, and goodbye. Yeah. So, I'm gonna say Drake might show up. Drake is not that Because... Amazing. He can't travel. Because the weekend is already... Well, they both Canadian. Canadian. Yeah, maybe they went on a... Jet and go together. Drake's posting on Instagram. He's in some sunny area with palm trees, but he doesn't say where it is. So, I say Drake might show up for halftime. Yeah, I'll bet on that. Who do you think is going to show up on halftime? Random. No, I, no idea. No idea. Not even here. Nothing. Who playing? At first time here, you told me weekend. Yeah, he's. They've been this announced. Is not, not big, uh, like, uh, commercials, nothing. Fucking nothing. Yeah, they've been posting commercials. No, but non-stop. I watched the game last game. It was, it was nothing weekend. popping from Super Bowl. Just say what number, and nobody was popping. Who played nothing? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's not uh, good to commercialize. But it is. You're just not paying attention. No, whatever. So, yeah. I'm thinking it's gonna be Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, okay. Ed Sheeran, you could be right. No you, idea. You never know. Katy Perry, English Katy Perry. Perry had a fucking Missy Elliott, so you never fucking know who's gonna yeah, show. Yeah, but see, that's the U.S. people. Okay, so we'll show up, and we'll do one, one more bet. Takeshi six nine. <laughs> yeah, six nine at Super Bowl halftime. That'd be fun. 
just put on it, honey. Just put he would just be screaming like, "What's up? I am Takashi." And okay, and finally. Uh, what color Gatorade? Orange. You say orange? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say red because both teams are red. Okay. Kansas City Chiefs, red. Yeah. And Tampa Bay is red. Okay, so this is our bets. Total is $100 if it goes one way. $20 each bet. So, I say Kansas City is going to win, you say Tampa Bay is going to win. That's right. I say there's going to be 20,000 people in the stadium, you say there's going to be 10,000 people in the stadium. Yes. I say Kansas City is going to get the first kick, and you say Tom Brady and Tampa Bay is going to get first kick, like three-point kick. Yeah, just kicks yeah. for score points. Too. Halftime show, I say Drake is going to show up, you say Ed Sheeran's going to show up. And then for Gatorade color, uh, I picked red, you picked orange. That's right. So that's our Super Bowl picks. That's right. For this year. That's right. For Super Bowl 50 fucking five. Five. 55 five. Highway. Usually you go to work on this guy. Can you believe that this is going to be Tom Brady's 10th Super Bowl? That's good for him. Isn't that crazy? Like, that's how good of a player he is, that he's been to the Super Bowl ten times. But he loved this game, that's the problem. Uh, He loved the game, and that's what he loved to do, and that's what he do. But he no exercise like normal quarterbacks anymore. He just do it his shit at home, and he do not participate with the people who exercise. That was last time, time before. Last time, I think so, that was... Last time in Patrick, how he was. That was big, uh, big thing. Like, you know, he no coming to the practice. Yeah. Because he said he know what he do. Yeah, well, he... Right now, maybe he practiced, but... Because everybody was doubt him. Even this coach, stupid, who is in Tampa Bay now. They said he was fucking... Like, he, they was losing. He was blaming him. And then the fucking... Because on the beginning, it was no Gronkowski. Yeah, he was always on the... No, Tampa no, no. With he, them. on the beginning, he was retired. He came, like, halfway, I think, so... Just help him. And now they fucking... Destroying everybody. I don't think so he was from begin. He was retired. Gronkowski was retired. He had a fucking show on TV... Half fucking season. I see this thing on the TV. He was like hosting this bullshit, some kind of uh, s- s- show with two other people. Yeah, you know they film those shows ahead. Of yeah, time. yeah, but he wasn't working, and he said he he done with football, blah 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 blah. After Patriots, and somehow fucking he come back. Yeah, because the he like uh, Gronkowski was already in Florida because he was working with WWE at the time when he was retired. He was at WrestleMania last year. That's what I said. He was in the wrestling cover business, yeah. signed out this, this. He was in the fucking... On the from the beginning. Hey, Google. How many Patriots game moved to Tampa Bay uh, team? That made no sense. <laughs> Here's a result from the web. How many Patriot team moved to Tampa Bay? Team? How here's how the Super Bowl home team is determined. Prediction 2020 NFL of season. No, that's not that's what I ask. But anyway, I was thinking how many old Patriots game is in the Tampa Bay. Well, I'm gonna find out. It says six. Okay, can we have a name? Sure. Let me see. It's Gronkowski, it's Tom Brady. That's Says cool. Brady steals six Pats players to play on for the Bucks. Uh, let's see, we have linebacker Dante Hightower. Yeah. And safety Patrick Chung. Yeah. Uh, Hightower would have made six million for the Patriots. 
But now he gets twelve million for Buccaneers. Oh fuck, that's because of Tom Brady. Up hundred fifty percent. Yeah, double the money basically. Yeah. So they stole those two guys. They got Gronkowski. They got Tom Brady. And it says six, but it doesn't list six. Or unless these guys. Uh, no. Where is the list? Not Cam Newton. Cam Newton's on Patriots. He's their quarterback. Okay, so that's most of them. He surrounds himself with good people. And now it's fucking go for it. So he give to the Belichick, fuck you, you stupid fuck. And where is the Patriots? Nowhere. Yeah. See, he show him. It's not coach. It's always fucking, it's not boss. This is what the people, he surrounds self and they making job for you and you look good. You, this fucking writer don't understand. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, they think every it's... business, every sport, everywhere. Oh, coach, you know what? Coach, fuck yourself. Put your fucking penis in your ass. Fucking, you can be replaced by everybody. Yeah. If you have no fucking good players, you can go fuck yourself sideways, and nothing gonna happen. You stupid retards. Yeah. They no appreciate normal people do a job for you. Any kind, of, even business, everything. You fucking thinking, oh, I'm so smart, boss, I can replace. No, you idiot. If you have no good people, you fucking retard. Yeah. Good luck. Fucking with your fucking uh, retard people, you retard. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Fucking jump from bitch to Ooh. the empty fucking lake. Empty like uh, yeah, I don't want to fucking him even have one percent surviving. Just go down. Well, there's some new science discovery. There is a company that is groundbreaking, trying to make Uber for space. Okay, <laughs> let me say something. <laughs> this drive me fucking nuts. The fucking Uber for space. The fucking learn how to drive on the normal road, you retards. Yeah. You're gonna buy Uber for space. You're gonna go to space and never come back. That's good Uber. Says here, groundbreaking biofuel rocket could be the Uber for space. Everything with biofuel. Trust me, it's danger. Everything with fuel is danger. If you have electric rockets, different story. You can't have electric in space. Yes, you do. It's it's too hot and cold up there. Electric. There's no. There's no. It's turbine. It's working somehow. System who going through the electric motion, not fucking combustion shit inside. You have electric fucking rockets. But biofuels not. Uh, Combustion engines. It's biofuel. Like, like you just explode like you, and go. Like you, That's biofuel. Like you just said, a rocket is not a car. They're two completely different things. Yeah, but they don't run the same. Yeah, but biofuel. It means it's fuel. It means it's burning. It means it's pushing thrust and go. You want fucking electric engines? No. You don't. Yes, you fucking. Plug battery, you, see you put this battery to the racket, you plugging the energy coming from this thing, plus the same time, recharging batteries the same time, because the motion, the rotation, the friction gonna build up the, uh, the thing, and you go, fucking no. buy your full. Listen, fuel. the number one <clears throat> electric maker, Tesla, Okay, Elon Musk. Yeah. Owns SpaceX. Yeah. The king of electrical products. The only thing that's not electric in his whole fucking company is his rockets. Why wouldn't he make an electric rocket if it's so simple, like you said? No, it's not simple. Listen, See? It's not... The king of electricity, they have Elon brand Musk. New, they have brand new model called uh, Model S. Okay, don't let me finish speaking. I know, but I want to try Please. something. Because I forget... And then the last model who have three motors and it's gonna be two seconds fast. This car have different batteries and everything. That's the new technology I told you with this gel fucking shit. And he is right now 
so good. But what about rockets? Yeah, yeah. Why is he not making electric I think, rockets? I then, think huh? so. I think so. He holding back, like for AI. They said <clears throat> AI. AI. It's now new computer system in AI. He can fucking write the essay for you and everything. And there's so danger. And it was but invented by Tesla. And he no longer posted because it's so danger. And and it's gonna and they hold it Lara. A lot of, uh, you know, uh, stuff because they don't want people hurt themselves. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. He keep it with biofuel still because... Uh, yeah, but this is a different company. This is not with Elon Musk. Who? The, these biofuel rockets that might be the Uber for space. Well, yeah. You, I tell you how this works. You're going to sit on a big cistern with fuel and you're going to take Uber to the... And 50-50 is going to explode. Holy shit. No, thank you. I know you're saying it's not safe. Everything has to be light. You know, Apollo 13 or something was like a, a, like a fucking pumpkin yeah. thing. If you fucking want my terror to hit this thing, you're done. Yeah, a rocket from the 70s where everyone was high as a kite on cocaine going to work every day and drinking at work every day. And smoking cigarettes in the office every day. Yeah. All those geniuses. Yeah. Yeah. I hear some noises. Okay, just sit down and let's keep going. Who cares? Hello? Come back. I'm coming back. Retard. You Wait. hear a noise and you have to walk away somewhere. No, I have to see Can't what's going on. Can't even fucking sit for now. So anyway. Yeah, so they're making an Uber for space. Okay. It says the snow swirled a bit. Wind set temperatures plummeted, blah blah blah, below zero. The... So the rocket's called the Stardust One, made its debut at a former military base in Maine. It says strapped to a trailer and pulled up by a pickup truck <laughs> along a runway once used by B 52 bombers in the Cold War. It wasn't the most glamorous entrance for a rocket that was going to make history, but uh. We got this new rocket, it says here, but after several delays as the Sunday afternoon light winded, Stardust finally lifted off, becoming the first commercial launch of a rocket powered by bio di divert fuel. So it's the first ever biofuel rocket. Hey Google, what is bio? Die fuel. According to your dictionary, bio means of life or living things. Yeah, An exactly. An example of bio is biography, which is the story of a person's life. Okay, so life. biofuel is like fucking corn fuel or something. Something from living trees or fucking something. Trees, yeah. Yeah, and your corn. Usually they do biofuel from, uh, like cars have uh, flex fuel. They use the biofuel, which is uh, E85. Yeah, so it says here that the... That uh, Stardust is a small rocket, yeah, just twenty feet long, yeah, weighs only five hundred and fifty pounds. That's crazy. My Escalade is twenty feet. Yeah, it's like shooting your car into space. Yeah, I'm very comfortable. You go into space with with fucking twenty feet. Are you kidding me? What do you think you're not gonna hit on the way something like a fucking eagle or? Some kind of fucking crazy you're fucking gonna, shit you're flying. Gonna, you're gonna hit an eagle 20,000 feet. I don't there. know, even plane or something with your fucking stupid Uber. With stupid Uber? How you know what time you're flying? You have to. You have tell to go because by the weather. Wee, no, but the plane's going non stop about your head. And you're gonna go straight, you're gonna hit some fucking. That's. You know what? That's the. You know, just stop. What? Fucking fix the Uber on the planet here. Yeah. Fucking, you're gonna go to space in the fucking 20 feet, like, pickup truck fucking up. Are you kidding me? Who's, who's this company? Uh, I don't know. That CEO must be fucking smoking crack all day long. He thinking you're gonna fly with this fucking 20 feet fucking car size fucking to the space. Yeah. Ah! Just shoot me. It says here, but because it's relatively cheap to fly... Oh, no kidding! It doesn't need the high-tech infrastructure... Oh, no, even high-tech infrastructure! ...of a large rocket. What? 
It will help make space research accessible <laughs> to more people. They gotta put iPad from Hui and yeah. say go. Yeah. It says your students, researchers, and businesses will be able to conduct experiments and test products with greater control and frequency. It says right now there are freight freight trains to space like SpaceX and ULA. And there are buses to space, like medium-sized rockets. What the fuck are you going to do in the space? They're taking thousands of kilometers to space, <laughs> but there's no space launch service allowing one or two payloads to go to space. There's no Uber to space. We want to be the Uber service to space. That's what this guy wants to do. This guy should go into fucking, you know... The authority should knock into his door, beat him up, shovel the dildo his ass, yeah, and the fucking say to him, forget your shit. And now everybody who do the like stupid rocket shit and everything have yeah. to switch, or you're gonna be arrested and put to the fucking Chinese jail. Be Chinese jail. Yeah, yeah, because over there they don't give a fuck. They're gonna kill you. Mm -hmm. But so, so if you not do some kind of research for COVID nineteen. Or for fucking like a council research, you fucking go to jail. You fucking stupid retards with this fucking space. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, people fucking so idiots. I think so. We need dictatorships who gonna put this retard with this fucking rocket fuel. Mm -hmm. You know what? They should fucking grab this guy, strap to this fucking rocket, and send him to the space. Without no comeback. Well, you want to hear what was on the first uh, oh launch oh in the my. rocket? Oh my god. What, they put chickens? So, <laughs> so for the first launch of this new uh, mobile uh, rocket, the payload included a high school experiment and tests on any al alloy called nitinol made by Kellogg Research Labs. In Salem, New Hampshire. So what was on the first? I'm waiting. A high school experiment. Yeah, but what you say? Who Par was on the partner, first flight? Partnered with Kelo Kellogg. Ke That's the guys who make fucking the fruit loops. Who makes your waffles. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. What kind of fucking... You're going to combine through fucking egg fucking factory. <laughs> awesome. Just shoot me now. That's why America is so stupid. It says here, while well, Stardust flew just one mile into the sky. Yeah, awesome. Be you can even make one, <laughs> one mile on Before me. parachuting back to Earth. <laughs> A second rocket will be... Two uh, miles and crack. Oh, get this now. Ready? I'm fucking can't wait. There's going to be a second rocket. It will be... It will go, like, higher than the first rocket. Yeah, more than a mile. And the later version will be called Red Dwarf, which which will enter the polar orbit. And you're going to froze over So the first stuff. rocket was named Stardust, yeah. and the second rocket is going to be Red Dwarf. Yes, awesome names. Yes, from this company in Maine. This fucking guy is watching too much Disney stuff. Disney stuff? Yeah, Stardust, fucking Red Dwarf, yeah. what's going to be fucking... Rudolph fucking gay fucking deer. Rudolph gay deer? Yeah. <laughs> Can I take the Rudolph gay deer rocket to space, please? Oh my god, so fucking... You know what? We like... That's too much fucking... Like it's... Like it's fucking cartoonish. Like it's a kindergarten. Nothing is serious anymore. Everything is bullshit, stupid, fucking cartoonish shit. And we're gonna name it fucking... Dragons, fucking caterpillars. Oh, we have no names, like serious names. Like was Apollo? I was strong because the strong Apollo, like a god, fucking go to the space. No, we're gonna name fucking Red Dwarf to the embracing fucking miniature people. Dwarf can go fight. They never said that's why they named it that. What do you think they named it from? They named it Dwarf because it's a little rocket. 
But dwarf, you're not supposed to say dwarf anymore. It's a little person. Yeah, but they're not going to call the rocket little. red little person rocket. Yeah, but they still use the racism. It's not racism because dwarf what is, is dwarf? a made up word. It's not a re- But what does it mean dwarf? Exist. What dwarf mean? A person that's not five feet tall. Exactly. Okay. Racist. You say a little person. Yeah, but I could call someone a little person. They could be five five, but they're not a dwarf. You know what I mean? That term little person doesn't make sense. But I think so they changed this. You can't even call dwarf. No, you can't call them midgets. They hate and dwarf. midget. Which I don't know why they hate midget. Because it's me, jit. Yeah, you're not legit, you're midget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're midgetarian. Yeah. You know? And the imagitarians, what they eat? They... Eat like they normal eat food? normal food because they're so How normal. come it's normal if they're so small? What, they eat mini carrot? Yeah. Or you mini never... straws, balls, balls? Mini what? straws, <laughs> mini. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Look at how re- rich uh, Peter Dinklage is, okay? He's a very successful little person. Yeah, but this fucking car to him carrying so much cash because the... The bill is so big, big for him. Like yeah. Fucking... He's like, holy shit, I can use this as a beach towel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's like, I can dry myself. But he's not dead yet? No. Because they said they only live like 40 years and that's it. The miniature people. Now you're calling them miniature people? Like yeah. a miniature horse? Yeah, because like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a miniature horse. Well, you don't call him horse. You call him miniature horse, he's mini. Compared to horse. Yeah, usually the little horses you call them jackasses, but... You know. No, that's <laughs> fucking different kind of version of the horse. Yeah, but look at there's a lot of successful little people. There's Peter Dinklage. Oh, that's it. Peter Dinklage, no. Peter Dinklage, and Peter Dinklage. No, Wee Man from Jackass, Vern Troyer from Austin Powers. This guy's dead. There's a whole fucking reality show Fuck. with these fuckers who are like pumpkin farmers on TLC. He called them fuckers. Yeah, there's a bunch of them successful. Logan Paul has his best friend, Dwarf Mamba. Literally, his channel is called Dwarf Mamba. On YouTube. Logan. No, anyway. You know what I mean? There's a lot of successful... I know, people. I know, I know. I want to say something. I fucking... Again, I didn't prepare you. I was rushing, so fucking... I'm not rushing. You're the one who's fucking slow as fuck. No, because I have a lot of things in my head, and... Yeah, I could, uh, uh, maybe something uh, is here, so I'm gonna re- remind my, my refresh my uh, memory. My memory. Uh, okay, we'll wait for you. Oh, let's talk about this Tesla, what I say, find out about the how the Elon Musk named the cars. So what happened is, this is what happened mm. is, I don't give a shit what you're saying now. Uh, and then, so what happened is, yeah, go Model ahead. S. Like Elon Musk naming cars. Okay, ready? His model, first his model was Model S. Then second model is 3. So if you put like this, it's like E look like. Yeah. So then it's Model X and Model Y. So it's, what this mean? It's mean sexy. So that's what was the blondie find out this. On her channel, and that's where I find out that's actually pretty cool, freaking shit. So we have fucking guy who another fucking retard who can figure out names. He has to say sexy, flying dragon of his space sex. Everything is X inside, like sex, sexy, sex, sex. This oh, you see this guy girlfriend? Mm, which guy? Who are you talking? Uh, about? Elon Musk. Yeah. Are, are you kidding me? That thing looking like monkey chimpanzee fucking with her ears sticking out. She's Canadian. Big but Canadian that's thing. a metal. Holy shit. If you take this chick on the bike, okay. she's going to slow you down. Uh-huh. Because her ear is so big. Oh, my ugly shit ever. Mm. Like, honest to God, like, I look on this girl. Yeah. And I'm saying, oh, I think so. Elon Musk did fucking fix the... Somebody give him glasses. Holy smoke. What an ugly thing. You see this thing? Yeah. Have a space in the teeth like a fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Have the ears of the size of the fucking 
maybe not uh, uh, African elephant, but Indian elephant. Mm -hmm. Holy macro! And look like she never exercised in life. Her legs are so straight, no tone muscles at least. I will be Jesus, I will be puke on this girl. Well, so far you're wrong. She has no gap in her teeth. Show me the picture. I literally have a picture of her smiling. There's no gap in oh her teeth. Oh my god, look at this fucking stupid... There's look. no gap. I can't see without glass. But anyway... There's look. no gap. Okay, no gap. But look at her ears. That's unbelievable. She can have XM for free. Fucking satellite dish without dishes. Listen, this fucking today. Ugly, unbelievable. Mm-hmm. He's not so pretty guy too, but mm. tell me that fucking thing is awesome looking girl. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Crazy. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, there's a there's still a big war <laughs> going on with the stock market. Oh, the GameStop. It yeah. started with GameStop, but now it's moving on to silver. It says here silver prices have hit an eight-year high after calls to buy the metal on social media sparked a trading frenzy. It comes a week after amateur investors piled into shares in the game retail GameStop caused them to jump 700%. On Monday, silver rose as much as 11% to $30 an ounce while shares in some mining firms were up as much as 60%. No, yeah. It's crazy. Now, uh, the metal, it's like metal wars. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, small-time traders swapping tips on Reddit are thought to be behind the trend as they seek to drive prices up. It says, however, some users on the site dispute this, alleging the silver squeeze, that's what they're calling it, the silver squeeze, yeah. Is sincerely being coordinated by big Wall Street firms, not by them. Hmm. So the internet is basically those guys who did the GameStop shit. They think it's them spiking silver prices mm -hmm. in the stock. But they're saying that, no, it's probably the normal hedge fund Wall Street guys who are causing the spike of silver at the moment right now. It's very interesting. People are watching the stock market like it's a sports now. Because no, of, I think so. This, some people figure out that this bullshit is controlled by fucking somebody, and it's fucking this Robin Hood and this other one supposed to help people. Now they're fucking up uh, normal people. So I'm thinking the stock market is bullshit. You can look at this. The guy fucking make million dollars for from top four thousand dollars with this game stuff, whatever. Yeah. They showed the guy. Now he have million dollars in the bank. He can't cash it because they said no. What do you mean no? You fucking, if you we lose the money, you taking. But if you we win the money, you know, give it to nobody. That's, you know what? Don't bet nothing. That's crook shit. Some kind of bullshit fucking, st another shit. That should be shut down, the stupid stock market. Everything. Shut down. Fuck it. Complete forget it about this shit. That's a crooks and just... Innocent people money going to this shit fueling and they operate with your money and who rich is rich and you never gonna get money. That's example. They try saying that's smart people from this GameStop and everything. They say let's fucking do it and now they show you fucking even you make the money. So they said that 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 that, that, that thing gonna collapse in two weeks and gonna go down and you're gonna lose anyway the money. But see, these guys now, more and more different companies jumping on this. Mm -hmm. And they're going to show this uh, retards in this fucking Wall Street stupid shit. Another fucking genius is fucking business shit. Everything changing now. Time to fucking weed down this shit. You make money, hard working, and selling stuff. Like uh, Jeff Bezos. You make product you sell. No fucking stock shit. Keep this money in the businesses, develop. No, in the stock. That thing should be shut down and wipe it and forget it. The retard stock market. Fucking the stupid thing ever the, f the people invented. Mm -hmm. That's it. But it says here, uh, the total value 
of silver yeah. being traded is around 1.4 to 1.6 trillion dollars, which is a thousand times the total value of GameStop sh- shares yeah. capital, which is 1.5 billion before it became the target of speculation. Yeah, so now even the guy who put $4,000 gonna have not one million, he gonna have a hundred million dollars fucking in a bank. Because it's hundred times more and again stock, silver stock. Is stop. It's stop. Yeah. Yeah. So, Game stop. Yeah. So that's, you know what? I don't know nothing about this, but from the normal view, like normal guy who fucking never put the money in the stock but you did you've one, done it before one time yeah and you made good money no i didn't even know that. you made like six grand six grand yeah, yeah on uh, uh life 55 life insurance yeah what they did how you do insurance that insurance was unbelievable how you pay your insurance they put from your payment let's say you pay 50 bucks per month yeah they would take five dollars and put to this mutual funds yeah and then I remember I have to pay twelve thousand dollars taxes. Yeah. And I have no money from work. I'm like, holy shit, how are you gonna go? Uh-huh. So I call government and say, uh, you can put me on the, uh, you know, like payments so I can pay this twelve thousand dollars. And they say to me, no, you have six thousand dollars sitting in the fucking bank. They see it. Yeah. I'm saying, I do. Uh-huh. They say, yeah. So I check, and they said, where? And say, your life insurance. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? So I look, and it was $6,500. So I said, fucking cash it. Yeah. So the government get permission from me, and they suck this money from them, mm-hmm. and then I have to just pay $6,000. But, like, I was surprised. That was good stuff. Yeah. Why not any insurance make like this? But, see, this is what you just talk shit about those big hedge fund guys that did that for you. That's what you invested in. No, you invested. Yeah, in, in a company. Oh, which you know is a what? What fund, you know what they did? Which is what that's what Let, they do Listen, for now people. I remember because I say how how they invested in what? And he, the guy from this insurance, tell me the life insurance fifty five investing in unofficial hearts, unofficial kidneys, unofficial on this business like a healthy business. That's why my yeah, stock artificial went, organs went yeah. to the fucking roof. Yeah. Because they're making so much now, these products. So that's what it was. And uh, that's it. But that's only one thing. But that was like, you know, 15 years ago when when everything was normal. Yeah, but everything, it but, still works the same. No, everything changing now. You can't fucking, you know, the people who have these YouTube channels. It's completely different. Like, you know... Uh, it's not different because at the end of the day, YouTube created YouTube TV, which is just a TV service on a computer now. But I don't even watch this shit. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, I watch TV, uh, YouTube, but that YouTube TV. Yeah, but they have YouTube TV where you pay $40 a month and you can watch any channels from around the world at any time live. That's what YouTube TV is. And that's the same if you subscribe to Hulu. I don't believe that. Yeah, and it, that's the same thing when you subscribe to Hulu. Mm-hmm. You pay $10 a month, and you get all TV shows from all of America live anytime you want on Hulu. And you watch any TV show you want from anywhere. No way. Yeah, that's, why, just... that's why people love Hulu. Because Hulu is... They grab every fucking TV show. Like, if I wanted to watch Raw and SmackDown... And all like WWE shows, I can I can watch it on Hulu. And how much per month? It's like ten dollars, eleven. Why, why we have no Hulu? Because Hulu, because the thing is, it was supposed to be Hulu, ESPN, and Disney is supposed to be one app. They never. And they them. they're already doing it in the states all together as one app, and you pay fourteen dollars with them all together, all three. Oh. So. We just basically have to wait for that to happen in Canada. Oh, well, we can have Hulu in Canada? We can, but you have to pay it all separate. You can't have it together. Only so in the why States you know, is together. Why, what is the difference? The difference is... We have Disney. <coughs> we have... What is that? No, the ESPN. Dif- why we know just that Hulu? And no, because Hulu. the difference is... 
So there's a different culture in Canada. There's and not there? a demand in Canada for that because people in other countries are just stupid and lazy. So they don't subscribe to stuff. Mm-hmm. So like everything's separate. So they make more money internationally than like home base. I know, but the fuck, Jesus! I still don't know what is Hulu. Does the Hulu uh, sign with Kardashian now? Hulu is uh, it's like a TV. It's like TV shows. Yeah, I know. Did they sign up with Kardashian new shows? Hulu or Crave? Crave. No, I think it is Hulu. We, I think we talked about because Hulu they have like a new contract with the new shit. They shut down here and they went to Hulu, or I think it was Hulu, but I don't know. So much shit, no time to watch. Yeah. Fuck! They ruin everything. You can't have like you know. You was waiting for like I'd say Bellas, few years ago. You was waiting for a new show. Now it's like fucking nothing interesting. Oh. Talking about shows, the best show on the planet right now is The Boys. Yeah, you already talked about that last So I'm uh, repeating myself, watch these shows, very good. And uh, now we have a new Top Gear America on... What are we about it this time? Motor Trend app. Motor Trend app, and you can watch any TV show with motor something inside. So it's uh, like a Top Gear... Uh, you have some kind of rich people with rich cars. Anything about cars? I don't know. We uh, uh, we we get it when we're gonna research this fucking app more. We're gonna tell you it's worth it. So far, it's five bucks a month, so it's not a big deal. But if you combine everything we have, that's a lot of lot of fucking boxes every month. Yeah. ESPN is most imp- expensive. It's $22. Well, for us, it's TSN. Uh, yeah, but which is the, almost the same. It's the same as ESPN. Yeah, yeah, in Canada. So, so that's $22. <clears throat> then we have uh, XM Radio. It's $14. Uh, because people, trust me, you didn't even know you have a low package and big package. I have a low package. And I'm like, what is how it's still on the fucking my phone? And he said, oh, that must be a bigger package. I'm like, fuck. Nobody says it's bigger than a low package. And you get fucker in this thing. And now, because you have this normal package, you can watch every fucking shit what they was filming on demand. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what I find out on <coughs> on uh, Spotify with Joe Rogan? You can only watch on the phone. You can switch to TV. You can watch it on TV if you download the Spotify app on Apple TV. So if you... Oh, if you, I go now to the so, Apple TV? So if you go on a smart TV or an Apple TV, oh. you could download a Spotify... Because I tried shooting through the like no. my old one, yeah. and no, just sound was going, so, but not the... Yeah, so you go, mm-hmm. and you can watch it for free on your TV. You just click on it, and it should play the video on your TV through a... Apple TV or a smart TV. I oh, think. I have to load it. Yeah. Because I want sometimes... That's the only it. way you can watch Joe Rogan's show on yeah, your TV. Yeah, I know I was basically. watching on the, on the phone. Yeah, but uh, that was interesting. Yeah. Like, you... I find out this thing was... Well, on the beginning was the same thing, problem with Disney, but right now Disney clear up <laughs> some shit. And then, then... Oh, today I went on Android and I load a lot of apps on this guy, like uh, Spotify like uh auto trend like uh, motor trend motor trend yeah uh and any disney plus uh and anything bullshit on this one somehow this who we think have unbelievable battery like this thing is really like do you like your chinese tablet no like this chinese tablet have very strong battery like a very long long time mm-hmm with watching Lo- loves you a long time and, yeah. and it's very quick response that's i think so it's like your phone because it's samsung and that's fucking samsung probably too this is not samsung this is sony i'm using sony phone no that's but samsung that's phone. what i'm saying that's the android yeah so i find out even how i typing is faster than my phone it's run away mm-hmm. like i was typing sites or or apple store i have to do something like put my uh, uh, Email or something. Okay. Uh, that fucking thing is so quick compared to even my phone. It's ridiculous. 
Yeah. Like you pressing is there. Here is like delayed a little bit. You pressing is short. Here you pressing is there. It's unbelievable fast. Mm -hmm. The Google Chrome whatever is there. Yeah, but it's But I, I find out like I know like this, everything where is no ample I know like this, mm -hmm. but with the speed, it's a ridiculous fucking I can use to to this apps. Like and all the system where you like operate system, like I don't know what to do because I used to to the Apple and Apple fucking switching to sometimes bullshit. Yeah, but Apple is just copying Android. At no, least. no, but like I said, yeah. Apple have this operating system on iOS and they always updating and then they fucking flipping something. And then I'm mean, you're like, what the fucking now? But then Android, like, I don't know, I love. Like, I see, where is the app? So I went to the, I want an app store. Went to the app store. I want an auto trend. I want this, I want that. Because I said, if you need this, sometimes, I said, I can take this one and use it. Like, fucking if some batteries die somewhere or something. And watching on this one. But some version of the Android, you can download shit. But on the Apple shit, you can download and watch later. So that's all this confusion. And the same is on TV. You can download on TV. You have to just watch it. What is there? You know what sure. I'm saying? You can't take your TV. But see, it would be nice if you take your Apple TV who have a load shit inside and you watch somewhere else with like in a forest where you have no signal. You would just watch it on your phone though. So now, I know, but I know on the phone I want to do this thing. You can grab nice size TV to the cabinet. You hook up your Apple TV. You don't need the internet. You go watch. No, you can't do it. So now you have to shoot in from... Yeah, fucking, I got you. Yeah, You know what I mean? Yeah, you want it so you could download it and watch it offline. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. But see, this guy, some stuff is working like that. Some mm -hmm. doesn't on Android. But on Apple, versions of every app you can download. Netflix... You can download uh, Prime Time, uh, yeah, the Amazon, Amazon. Prime, yeah. you Disney. You can download. I can download everything. Yeah, like for offline watching. Mm -hmm. It should be like this. Fuck, why not? Well, listen, there's Peacock app is gonna blow up anyway soon. It's already got more subscribers than Disney Plus, <coughs> and uh, probably equal amount of subscribers than Amazon Prime, but. In Idaho, okay, mm -hmm. a man wins the lottery for the sixth time. No way. That's some kind of cheesy stuff. So this man... S suspicious. <laughs> so this man won the lottery yeah. for the sixth time, okay? Mm -hmm. The guy, he owns Nuco Sport and Nutrition Health Store mm -hmm. in Meridian, Ohio. Won... $250,000, his largest haul, from a crossword scratch game ticket on Thursday. So from a scratch... Lucky bastard. So from a scratch ticket, he won $250,000. What? According to a new release yeah, from yeah. Ohio Lottery, okay? It says it was the sixth time that this man won a prize, and the first time he took home the top prize. Jesus, what's wrong with you? Hmm? Nothing. Jesus. <laughs> Some kind of gas is coming from you. Right I know. Yeah, okay, so... He posted his winning ticket on Facebook Thursday, which he drew a reaction from some of his friends. Congratulations. Can you give... Can I give you money to play for me? Basically, people were making jokes to him, saying, can you play for me? Yeah. But it says here, the odds of winning the Idaho Lottery Scratch Game, mm -hmm. $250,000 crossword, mm -hmm. are one in, one in 152,000 chance. No. And he won the $250,000. Nice. His ticket was purchased from an extra mile in the city, mm -hmm. which the lottery said will receive a bonus of twenty grand. So the store gets twenty thousand dollars for selling the winning ticket. Oh, that's cool. Actually, it should be everywhere like that. Which is interesting. If you buy, the guy gonna store gonna receive, and the guy who sell you ticket receive some money too. 
So like it will be like a little, you know, like a little happiness for the guy who worked there and everything. But yeah, it's crazy. This guy has won the lottery mm -hmm. six times. But it's just like a Ohio lottery. Yeah, yeah, like here, 49, like Ontario. It's 649s yeah. all Canada and 49s just Ontario. Yeah. So usually I win in on Ontario more because less people play and more people buy. Well, no kidding, he won Ohio, Idaho, yeah. Ohio. Why do I keep, I keep saying Ohio? It's Idaho. Idaho. It's Idaho. Yeah, that's good. Why do I keep saying Ohio? I have no idea. Meridian, Idaho. Oh. This guy is from Idaho, mm -hmm. where no one lives there. Yeah. What's the population of Idaho? Hey, Google. What's the population of Idaho? In 2019, the population of Idaho, United States, was 1,787,065. <clears throat> so this is like our Mississauga. <laughs> yeah, so the whole state has like 1 million people. Yeah. This guy won the lottery six times. Nice. On uh, scratch tickets, which is fucking bananas. I know. I never forgot to have the guy win Viper. Viper. Yeah, there was first scratch ticket. It was like Viper on that thing. Okay. About like 15 years ago. He went on the Hartz Road somewhere on the 7-Eleven. On the Hartz Road. Yeah. He walked inside. First ticket. Scratch it. Win Viper. $100,000. Uh-huh. Oh, what? <laughs> Should be my Viper. So he didn't win money. He just won a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but the he, fucking the 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 best the <clears throat> Viper was the best new thing from Dodge. Would everybody want that? But day. these lottery companies got a see they fuck they fuck up with that with those lottery companies because they're giving like these people are winning like a mansion in a lottery or like these cars nice cars and then after they have to start paying then they hear what the insurance price is on these fucking things. And then they're like, well, I can't even afford this car that I even got for free. No, no, no. But you can also sell this thing. So what, what are you going to do? Let's say you win brand new Escalade, who is $130,000, yeah? Okay. And you want money. So what you do, you go to the uh, your dealership in wherever you live, and you give them offer. Can you give me $80,000 for this car? Like, sure. Brand new, so they can still make money on this car to one thirty. They're gonna buy from you, yeah, because it's brand new. You have to pick it up anyway from them. Yeah, the guy they say go buy, and you said, hey, this is always like you can resell the same as house. They say, oh fuck, can I sell this to the like a what do you call them the investing company, a no, real estate company, and they said, oh that's house is one million eight hundred dollars. Uh, can you give me one million two hundred dollars? Sure, and you get the cash. I I gonna do the same thing. If I win, let's say brand new, like Escalade, I will be cash it. Put from half money to the bank, forty thousand for myself. Have forty thousand dollars from this forty thousand dollars. I will be fucking buy used fucking Escalade for twenty grand, mm -hmm. and then then have twenty thousand dollars update my shit. Like, yeah. you know, maybe buy a new TV or this, but that, I, no way I'm going to keep it. Like, say you win Ferrari with this uh, uh, lottery right now, the heart thing. Yeah, the for, Princess Margaret. Yeah, Ferrari, yeah, whatever. whatever and yeah. you have Ferrari for $250,000. What the fuck? You sell this shit. And then you go to your insurance, and you're like, how much do I have to pay no, for no. insurance? I think so. And like, they go, like, you have to pay $4,000 a month. Yeah, for like, insurance. usually $2,000. And, like, and then they're yeah. like this, okay, fuck this, I don't want this car. No, so you go to dealerships and say, hey, how much you offer me? They're going to say, we go for you 30, 30, <laughs> 30, 30 less. Yeah. And you say, sold. So they give you 200000 not 280 You come home, fucking have $200,000 thousand cash. You put fucking hundred thousand dollars for lockdown. You are making eleven percent fucking for two hundred for hundred thousand. You make ten thousand dollars fucking every year, mm -hmm. just fucking from this. You pay taxes on this probably like uh, three thousand, so you make like seven thousand every year. Yeah. So that's you locking down. Fucking then you have hundred thousand to the fucking blowing away. So now you have Ferrari. Now you're going fucking buy brand new Corvette, fucking for sixty thousand. Yeah. Nice. It's the same shit.
have two wheels and fucking it's fancy. Two shit. wheels. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope my car has four wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. I didn't realize Corvette made motorcycles. <laughs> no, because usually well, yeah, I had a Ferrari at the side of my uh, motorcycle, a Corvette motorcycle. Usually they steal wheels, so you like you have two wheels left. Yeah. So anyway, so you buy a nice Corvette for sixty thousand. You have uh, even now you can buy Stingray version before. Yeah. Still looking amazing. Uh huh. And then you pay thirty thousand. Yeah. You save so much money. And then you buy like use Escalade, you have nice car, nice car, nice car, and then the fuck is still money in the bank, and that's it. Yeah. yeah, and that's our show. What? That's it, one hour. Done. Okay, so that's how it's Cookie Crumble. Stay safe, cover 19. Canada is close, fucking flying shit to the A per 30. Yeah. We can't, can't go, go nowhere! Me- can't go to Mexico. We can't go now even to different provinces. So fucking, we sit in here, and then. I love it. <laughs> sure. Okay, peace, peace, and love and peace. And peace and love. And uh, bye. Do not eat lobster. Okay. Bye.